Hello folks, I'm Cooper, and today on Cooking with Cleavers, uh, we're talking to you about a new uh, knives, I guess two new knives that I got. Uh, these are Taiwanese fish knives um, that are unique to Taiwan and very uh, interesting knives. So uh, I'd just like to uh, make a video about them. I've previously made videos about like the Taiwan uh, style cleaver, the rounded cleaver or cinnamon cleaver. Uh, as well as the Shanghai Profile uh, Cleaver uh, as some specialty style cleavers. Uh, these are also specialty uh, knives uh, here in Taiwan. They're called tuna knives because they're primarily uh, intended for fish, uh, but they can be used for all types of proteins. Uh, these are actually fairly small models of the Taiwan tuna knives. Uh, I didn't want the 1600 kilogram or the 1600 gram version the 1.6 kilogram version uh it's a little big for me because i don't uh, actually butcher any tuna so i was given these knives by Junda industries which is a taiwan based company that ships uh to the united states and like Australia and a few other countries, uh, but you can look them up at jundaindustries.com. Uh, very cool people. It was nice of them to give me these knives. I was given these for free and I get to keep them after I uh, make some videos about them. They reached out to me and I was happy to uh, look into these cool profile knives. Anyway, just a little bit about these particular knives. Uh, the, this is called the uh, Master Guo Effin Big. Uh, series and this is the G4. Uh, there's a bunch of different sizes, but this is the G4 size. It weighs about 278 grams and is about 180 ish, 100 and, yeah, 85 millimeters long blade. This is the G3, the, also the Master Guo F and Big uh, G3. Uh, it's um, a very light knife, very nimble knife, good for more. Um, I guess you'd call it acute cutting. Anyway, there's a lot more control with this uh, thin, lightweight uh, slicing knife, uh, so you can get in and do more delicate work with it. But uh, it is the G3 size. It's um, 127 grams. It's 133 millimeters long uh, and like 64 millimeters tall. So a cool little knife. They're both made out of um, uh, spring steel. So like you get from your cars that the shocks or springs in your cars that sort of a steel uh, which is a carbon steel uh, it's a pretty available and reasonably good carbon steel when heat treated well these are heat treated to 60 to 61 on the uh, hrc uh, so a good heat treat on them as, as far as i can as you can see this has a croce finish on it uh, which means that they hammered in a carbon finish onto into the blade uh, which prevents uh, rust and things and makes it look very cool and rustic uh, both of them have that sort of a finish uh, both of them are made from spring steel and both of them uh, are a good hardened steel as far as I can tell. I put them on the wet stones the other day uh, and they uh, were good sharpening. You could tell that they were a little harder than many of the uh, Chinese slicing cleavers that I've had, uh, but uh, that means they should retain that edge well uh, and be great for uh, slicing through those proteins for a good long time before you have to resharpen them. Uh, so uh, the rounded um, blade profile here uh, again very different than say a slicing cleaver as for now i'm fairly impressed by the construction they're very rustic looking uh, has a very rough hammer finish on here which is intended and looks very cool um, and uh, good handles and things uh, there's not a whole lot out there on the internet about these taiwanese tuna knives uh, there's a few videos on YouTube where they have the larger size tuna knives uh, and they're breaking down whole tunas and stuff. So uh, th those are cool videos to watch. I'll see if I can get out to a uh, fish market uh, and take a video of them doing that. If not, you can just look up uh, breaking down a whole tuna in Taiwan or something and you'll find lots of videos where they have massive knives like this, but three times bigger and like, yeah.
very large knives used to break down those two. Uh, if you're interested in getting your own uh, Taiwanese slicing or Taiwanese tuna cleavers, uh, they're pretty much only sold, uh, as far as I can tell when I look it up on the internet, are uh, basically only sold by Jenda Industries. You can often find them uh, sold by Jenda Industries through Amazon or you can get it from jendaindustries.com. If you don't like carbon steel so much, they also have uh, the same profile knives, also made by Master Guo, but with a SK carbon steel core clad in stainless steel. So the very edge of the uh, blade is carbon steel, uh, which is advantageous in many ways, uh, but the siding uh, on the uh, that version is stainless steel, uh, which means that it will resist rust significantly better than this carbon steel knife uh, will. But if you're looking for a very cool rustic knife uh, that uh, can be used kind of like a uh, Japanese Deba knife uh, for breaking down fish and cutting through other proteins, uh, this G4 is very cool and uh, I will uh, get back to you on how it performs. So you can check it out yourself. Uh, and then this G3 also is, uh, it looks like it'll be great for more nimble uh, protein cutting work. And I'll uh, get back to you on how this wor uh, works too uh, in a future review. So thank you for watching uh, this shorter episode of Cooking with Cleavers. If you're interested in learning more about uh, slicing cleavers or dual purpose cleavers or specialty style cleavers, or other Taiwanese style uh, knives like these tuna uh, knives, uh, stay tuned. Um, please hit the uh, like button if you like this video. Subscribe so you can uh, keep in touch for when I put out a review on these uh, Chinese tuna knives. And then uh, if you're interested in supporting this channel, uh, I have a Patreon, that's patreon.com slash cookingwithcleavers. Uh, if you'd like to support me there, I'd be grateful for that. But thank you for watching here and uh, have a great day.